How to fix update KV5062554 failed to install in Windows 10 22 H2. Hello friends, KV5062554 is the security update for Windows 10 22 H2 for July 2025. If you are facing any issue installing this update, then follow the steps. The first method is try installing update from Microsoft Update Catalog. Go to the video description and uh, click on the link to Microsoft Update Catalog. You will reach this page. Here are multiple files. You will have to find the correct file for your system. For this, check the system type of your computer. Click on Start. Select Settings. Go to System. Scroll down. Click on about. Here is system type 64 bit operating system x64 based processor. This one cumulative update for Windows 10 version 22H2 for x64 based systems. In the same way, check the compatible file on your computer and click on the respective download button. Click on the link on this page. Let the download complete. Once completed, click on the file. Preparing the installation. Do you want to install the following Windows software update? Yes. The packages will be copied to Windows update cache. Then you will have to restart your computer. After two or three restarts, the update will be installed. Follow the on-screen instructions for the installation. Until then, let's move forward to the second method. The next method is run Windows Update Troubleshooter. Click on Start. Select Settings. Go to Update and Security. Select Troubleshoot. Click on Additional Troubleshooters. Click on Windows Update to expand it. Run the troubleshooter. You have to restart your computer, then try running Windows Update again. Pending system changes that require a reboot has been detected. Click on Next. Close. If you have found this issue on your troubleshooter, then back to Windows Update Settings. Click on Windows Update. A Windows Update is installing here. Let the process complete and then restart your computer. If your scenario is other than this, then simply follow the on-screen instructions on the troubleshooter and then try to install the update. If this method doesn't work, you will have to modify services. To modify services, click on search, type services, click on services, find app readiness in the list. This one, right click on this service, select properties. The startup type must be automatic, which is fine here. Service status is showing stopped. So click on start. Click on OK. Right click on the app readiness service and select restart. Look for the background intelligent transfer service. Right click on this service. Select properties. Change the startup type to automatic. And click on start. Click on Apply, click on OK, right click on the Background Intelligent Transfer Service, select Restart. Then look for Cryptographic Services, this one, right click on this service, select Properties, the Startup Type is already automatic and the service status is showing running, so nothing is needed here, click on OK. Right click on cryptographic services, select restart. 
finally come to the windows update service this one right click on this service in the same way select properties the startup type is automatic and the service is running so click on ok right click on this service select restart close the services window and then check for updates click on start select settings click on windows update click on check for updates if the issue still persists then reset windows update components click on search type cmd for command prompt click on run as administrator go to the video description you will find these commands there these commands will reset windows update components copy the first line of command paste into the command prompt hit enter copy the second line paste hit enter in the same way run all these commands once completed restart your computer and check for the updates the next method is uninstall third party antivirus program if installed right click on start select apps and features find the third party program in the list i have not installed any third party antivirus suppose this is the program then click on this program select uninstall click on uninstall if any uninstallation pop up appears follow the on screen instructions to complete the removal then again restart your computer and check for the updates the next method will be run system files checker and dism tools click on search type cmd right click on command prompt select run as administrator go to the video description and find these commands there run these commands one by one copy the sfc command paste into the command prompt press enter copy the dism command paste into the command prompt hit enter once done close the command prompt close the other running tasks and restart your computer then try to install the update if the issue still persists you will have to clean install windows 10 for this launch a browser type windows 11 download press enter click on this link media creation tool scroll down under create windows 10 installation media click on download now after downloading click on the exe file on the applicable notices and license terms window click on accept check the second option create installation media and click on next again click on next check iso file and click on next select a location to save the iso file click on save
right click on ISO and click on mount right click on setup.exe select open in this box uncheck this option and click on next on this window click on accept at last click on install let the windows install that's all friends thanks for watching the video